welcome back viewers today we will be testing the ETS D marker reversals but before we do if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that you need to go do that now here at the Academy of Forex we are building the best trading system possible as a team and as a team we will all profit from it when we are done you can find a link to the first video down below in the description and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now there is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. Alright, as I said, today we will be testing the ETS D marker reversals. Before we do though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 340 six indicators and out of those 346 indicators 141 of them have been winners which means that they have met or exceeded the 60 percent win loss ratio threshold that we have set for them the best ones so far were able to achieve a 100 percent win rate now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that but as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 141 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So we'll go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. Also, to date, we have tested 18 total strategies, and we have had three winners out of those 18. All right, so back to today's indicator. It is the ETSD marker reversals indicator. You can see it here on screen. I think we've tested uh, maybe one or two indicators that were kind of similar to this, uh, but we're going to give this one a shot, see what we can get out of it. So uh, we have this oscillating line here. We have areas of overbought, oversold, and a middle area that could be considered a ranging area and then we have these dots here and so basically what we're looking for is for the oscillating line to go either into the overbought or oversold area so above the line or below the dotted lines here and then uh, technically these dots here are meant to uh, kind of indicate when a reversal is possible and so my opinion uh, kind of the process that it should go is the oscillating line goes either in overbought or oversold a dot would appear indicating that a reversal is possible and then an indication of that reversal would be the line breaking back down into this middle area kind of similar to the way we tested the RSI and so I don't really think that we really need the dot to confirm that and so uh, basically what we're going to look for is the line the oscillating line to break into overbought oversold and then to make its way back in to this center uh, area here 
that will be our confirmation. So as it comes up into the overbought and breaks back down into the center section, that would be a uh, signal to go short. As it goes into the oversold and comes back into the middle section, that would be a signal to go long. And that's what we are going to test it today. So right here, let me double check, uh, 70, yep. So right here is going to be our first signal, and you see that one works out for us rather well. Definitely got us to take profit. So far, so good. Continue on with it here. All right, so right here we uh, bump up into the overbought area, and then once again we come down into the uh, middle area here, breaking back into the center uh, kind of zone, and looks like we get a decent little pullback as soon as that takes place which unfortunately would have stopped us out and then you can see that price action did continue in the direction we wanted it to just took a little bit longer than we would have liked so all right what i'm going to do here is cut out some of the video uh, so that way things don't get too long and i will pick this up when we get closer to the end of the year all right, so we are at the end of the year now. Before we count these out, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in excelling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below. Once you sign up for that, it will give you access to our Patreon-only channel on the discord server it's really super cheap doesn't cost hardly anything at all and we're posting some really good advanced topics and discussions in the patreon only channel there really really interesting and uh uh useful information stuff that we're posting our admin jay has also put together a rather lengthy list of winning indicators for the mt platforms and so if you use the mt platforms instead of trading view then that could come in very useful for you as well our admins and regular members are also posting uh, regular trade ideas almost on a daily basis they're posting screenshots of charts where they've marked up with support and resistance and areas of interest that they are taking trades uh, where they are entering exiting taking profits the whole deal so that way you can uh, kind of train your eye to look for those ideal market conditions or uh, try to dial in a trading strategy again looking for those ideal market conditions they're growing small accounts rather quickly using their strategies and methods stuff like that again really great information in there and also recently a new thing that we have added is uh, i have created a spreadsheet of the strategies that we have tested and uh, put uh, links to the videos stuff like that uh, on the spreadsheet which strategies were profitable which ones were not stuff like that and i am now passing that on to each of the patrons and so again really good stuff really great information back to the indicator here let's see get everything in focus here there we go let's count these out and see what we were able to get out of this indicator so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so we have 11 trades all together, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six winning trades. So barely misses the 60% criteria. Uh, it's a little bit of a shame. It seemed like it was doing rather well. Uh, in most cases, when it gave a uh, signal to go in a specific direction, uh, it did end up, the price action did end up going in that direction, uh, kind of in the relatively near future. We had a couple instances where uh, we happened to just catch the timing of a pullback in the wrong spot. And so this one, for example, here where my mouse is, you can see it called a short trade here. We caught this nasty pullback, but then almost immediately after that pullback, we end up moving downward and you can see right here on the next one the next signal we get a signal to go long we catch this nasty little pullback right here and then almost immediately price action takes off in the direction 
that uh, that we wanted it to go in and so uh, there were a couple instances again on this very last one right here you can see where my mouse is again it called a short trade caught a nasty pullback and almost immediately dropped in the direction we wanted it to go in it was only right here in this area that it was really calling signals uh, as it just kept pounding out uh, higher highs here and really taking out those trades and so uh, if it hadn't been, you know, for these three trades that actually stopped out and then went in the direction we wanted it to go in, then this definitely would have met the 60% criteria. So that's something to uh, something to leave you to think about uh, if maybe the stops were adjusted some or if we were taking stops in a, a different way, then it's possible that this could be a very useful indicator. For now, though, it is going to go on the no list, and we will move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. So that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing. Also, there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.